Hey everyone, so we are coming to that time of season where um, lots of teams have started their leagues and their games now, but we've also got a good few players that are at new teams um, or still looking for teams and so on, so we thought it might be a good idea to give parents three tips for choosing a, a team for their child, uh, basically, just to maybe give you a bit of a bit of help in, uh, at this time. So, first tip would be to check the training so maybe pick a couple of teams that you might be interested in that are local or what have you and then get to training um, let your player have an hour with them and then we check things such as how often are they touching a ball for that hour long session hour and a half session whatever it might be um, are they stood around quite a lot doing nothing if they've got a ball at the feet and they're doing the practices are doing the drills more often than not that's a good sign if you've got a coach or a manager that's stopping it every two minutes to talk about uh, tactics and blah, 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 at seven, eight, nine years old, it's probably not going to be the right thing for you. It's got to be about the development. So there needs to be the ball at the feet a lot during that session. So that's definitely one thing to, to check. How many players have they got? Um, if there's 48 players there and there can only be nine that start on a Sunday, you've got to take a view on it um how often is your child going to get chance to play a match on a sunday if there's that many players to go against and they only have one team so again big big important thing to, to check out because you want to be making sure your players getting as much chance as possible to be playing on a sunday uh, or a saturday um the next tip would be to ask the right questions and what we mean by that is when your player finishes training they get in your car you're driving home you're walking home questions that always get asked is what did you learn and did you enjoy it and kids have a great way of being able to tell you things that you probably they probably think you want to hear but a couple of questions to ask them that will give you an understanding of whether or not they actually did enjoy it and it is the place for you would be stuff like what did you enjoy most so instead of just asking what did, did you enjoy it what did you enjoy most they then have to think it then gets them thinking and if they're struggling to come up with something then you can probably sense that actually did they enjoy it that much um, another good question would be what was the main thing that you learned um, football is about learning training is about learning so you want to know that they have picked up things whether that be a skill or a little bit of information that the coach has, has given them it's about that and so if they can tell you that what they enjoyed about the session and also that they learn a particular thing then that that's pretty good and you know your your child your player better than, than anybody and by asking those questions you'll probably gauge from from it whether or not they have actually enjoyed it and whether or not they have actually learned something um the third thing would be to talk to the the coach and it sounds obvious but you can get a lot of information just by speaking to the manager or the coach of the team uh face to face so how did they come across you know how, how you can read people how do they come across as a as a person are they somebody that you'd want your child to be to be coached by um but some questions to ask of the coach would be things like positions so do they mix positions if you've got an eight-year-old nine-year-old um you don't want that you don't want your your player to be playing one position at that age all the time you need to be or they need to be playing different positions to learn to learn the game that's the most important thing if you've got a coach that's saying well I see little Johnny as being a right back alarm bells should start ringing a little bit you want to be in a team that's promoting varied positions everybody having equal playing time which we'll come on to but certainly having time in different positions on a weekly monthly whatever it be basis but making sure they're experiencing different parts of the field it's massively important um Ask them what their plan is on development and this will then trigger their response by way of are they more bothered about the development of each individual player or are they bothered about winning? Um, it's a tough balancing ask for, for coaches at grassroots level. They've got to balance the needs of the players. They've got to balance the needs of the parents. Um, but in our opinion, and this is just our opinion, a coach that recognises the individual development at, at the certainly at the primary school age, individual development over winning is is important. And coaches that recognise that we find that the players that are in those sorts of teams they get better quicker uh, and they enjoy it more because they're able to learn at their own pace. 
they're in an environment that's very um, very welcoming and gives a lot of confidence. They're, they're encouraged to try things because it's not all about winning. So that would be something that we definitely ask is, is, is what is their plan on development. They don't need to be winning every week 16 nil at, at 8, 9, 10 years old. They need to be getting better as an individual, getting them ready for high school and beyond and so on. Um, the yeah and, and again it is is it is it all about winning for them is is that what it's about if it's just about winning then take a view on it you might want your, your player to join a team that is winning every single week it, fair enough but um if they're winning every week and developing as an individual perfect if they're winning every week and spanking teams 16 17 18 nil um and it's all about winning at the cost of everything else is is that going to be better for your player longer term so Talk to the coach, get an idea of what they're about and what their philosophy is for the club and that will help you make a better informed decision for your player. Hope that's helped. If you need anything, as always, from us, we're here. We're here to help. Um, drop us an email, speak to us at our sessions and, and most importantly, good luck for the new season, guys. Hope it all goes well. Thanks.